Hey guys, we are back with our new video. If you are new and haven't watched the previous video, I have provided the link in the description. Go and watch the video. In this video, we will learn how to use rectangle, arc, and subline command. So let's go. Move on to rectangle command. There are four types of rectangle corner rectangle center rectangle three point corner rectangle and three point center rectangle and the other one is parallelogram let's start with corner triangle the corner triangle will work when you select two points like i have selected one point there and i will select the other point from this corner if you want to change the dimension select smart dimension and again select this line and give the dimension of your choice like this and like this so this is our corner rectangle command the other type of rectangle is center rectangle you can just select it from here now what the center rectangle will do it will make the center and expand the rectangle around it like uh, I have selected the point I will select this point and you can see that it is distributing equally from the center this is known as the center rectangle so now we will study what is three point rectangle three point rectangle will be made when you will select three points one two and three this is your three point rectangle like when i will select one point two point and this three point this is our three points rectangle now what is three point center rectangle when we select one point and second point and after this you can see and see that the rectangle is distributing equally from both sides this is your three point center rectangle now we will see what is parallelogram parallelogram as you know that have a two parallel lines select one line like this and you can make parallelogram like this that two lines will be parallel and other two lines of their side will be parallel this is known as parallelogram these were our rectangle commands now we will see what is arc there are three types of arc center point arc tangent arc and three point arc center point arc is just like the circle you want to make the arc like this you will select the center and the arc will be made around it like this what is tangent arc tangent arc will be made to any point like this if i will if i will make the tangent arc without selecting the point it will give the error please select an end point of a sketch because it will make itself tangent when you select the end point like this so this was the tangent arc three point arc the mostly used arc is a three point arc you will select one point second point and the third like if you have made two lines like this and you want to make the arc of your radius like this you can make it easily this is known as a three point arc so these were the types of arc we are going to use to make the 2d sketches this is subline subline is mostly used to make the complex part like when i will click one point and then drag to the second point I can easily make the curve or curvature from this point I want like this 
this is known as spline and now we can adjust it by using this dot this dot will make it forward and expand it too this arrow will just move it forward and backward this diamond will just move it up and down this arrow will move it forward and backward this dot will move it on four direction so this was our supply so this was our basic 2d sketching tutorial stay tuned for the next video